After another successful day of working on it with my son, we got a fair amount accomplished. <coughs> so, uh, it's back together. The cage is all the way back on it. The Pro Arm Armor mirrors are on it. The Pro Armor door, or the PRP door bags are on. The blue rock lights are on. And the massive Rifab 16 inch tall rear storage box is in the bed and it's amazing how much that can actually hold. Another shot of the mirrors there. Let me show you what it looks like in the dark. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. <clears throat> All right, there it is. There is a blue LED inside the main grill, a blue LED inside the turbo hood. I got these radiant, these uh, rigid radiance pods. So it's got a blue backlight that I hooked under a rock light switch. And then it's also flood, they're also floodlights, obviously. Down below, you can see my blue cube there. And then back here, I've got two up above. So plenty of light at night. Should pop really good. Then uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a good day. Tomorrow uh, I'm getting my tires and wheels with the blue bead locks. Uh, I'm getting the uh, skid plate on. I'm putting the mud flaps on. I've got that blue NRP shifter that's going to go in. Um, the CB, all important CB, so I can talk trash to the guys. And <clears throat> probably my rear view mirror. It's about all I'm gonna get done this week. The rest of it, uh, I won't have until early next week because the Simpson seats haven't shipped or they're shipping tomorrow actually. So, but she's gonna be trail ready in five days, which is fan freaking tastic. It's actually excellent. I'm really happy with the way it came out. It looks really, really, really good. Uh, I think at night in in the dark outside, it's really gonna pop. Uh, but I think uh, I think I did a pretty good thing here. So we'll see as the progress continues and uh we'll see where we end up i'm, I'm gonna rock the stock doors until uh we trash them going up and down trails and then i'll get some all one piece aluminum doors and get the slr sticker on it in the interim you guessed it there's going to be an slr sticker right here in the hood just like there is an old yeller uh so he matches his brother all right y'all thanks okay so yesterday was a good day and a bad day so let me explain uh, yesterday, my son and I were able to get quite a bit done. So as you can see, I got my tires and wheels on. Looks pretty good. Those are System 3 XT 300s in 33 inch on STI HD 9 wheels with a 6 plus 1 offset. So it's not any wider than it was at the factory. We got all the wiring done. You can see the, the look up there. You can see the CB is on the ceiling. All of the switches are done, the relays are all in, everything's done, it's perfect, all the lights work, all of uh, the accessories are completely configured, wired, soldered, heat shrink tube, I mean it looks really, really good, it was a really nice clean install. Now, since that stuff was all done, we decided to bring it into the garage where the four post lift is, as you can see, so I could put my skid plate on. And that's where things went a little bit sideways, and I was pretty upset by the time I got done last night. So, came in here, took the uh, factory skid plate off, and then started installing my blue Trail Armor skid plate. And any of you that know me know that I really like Trail Armor. They do a really good job. I really like these. <coughs> because they put up with a lot. They're great rock sliders, and uh, they really don't end up getting smashed like the ones that you buy from Polaris or anybody. So we got the old one off, and we started installing the new one. And right away I knew something wasn't right, but I'm like, well, 
I know they said I had to modify it because of the extra width in where the trailing arms are on the S, so I went with it. We got the first two pieces installed. I'm like, man, this doesn't seem right. And then we got the third piece, and it was two foot short, wouldn't fit, none of the holes lined up. And at that point, I knew I was in for a long night and some frustration. And sure enough, see if I can find it here. They're actually so if you can read that or not I called and ordered a, not, a, a, a skid plate for a 2019 Razor Turbo S and what they sent me was a skid plate for a Razor 900 S that clearly is not a 900. So I sent them a scathing email last night. Uh, this is my third one from them. I know that I ordered the right thing. I talked to the woman on the phone. We agreed that I was gonna have to make some changes. She knew what I was talking about because my dealer, Richie uh, Motorsport, or Richie Power Sports, has a manager in Athens, Tennessee named Tim McNutt, and Tim has installed it on a Turbo S, and he was the first one to install a trail armor skid plate on a Turbo S and walk them through what needed change. We had that conversation, and she said, yep, we're gonna get it cut and get it shipped out to you. They got it cut and they shipped it out for me, all right, but they shipped the wrong one. So with any luck, uh, it's Saturday now after Thanksgiving. With any luck, by Wednesday at the latest, I hope, I'll have the right skid plate and I can get it on. So for now, I will be doing mud flaps and the parking brake, and I'll kind of walk you through everything we did once I get those two things done, because that's all I'm going to be able to do now until the rest of the parts come. But I do like the way that it came out. It looks really, really good, and uh, well, it looks so good that uh, I don't want to get it dirty. I mean, would you want to get it dirty? I don't want to get it dirty. Maybe I'll just keep riding the X3 and keep this in the trailer to show everybody. Maybe this is a photo razor. I don't know. It's pretty cool though.